Hey everyone, Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a uh, bit of a CD update. I haven't done one in like about a month or so. Yeah, I haven't gotten like a whole lot of stuff. I have like about this, this pretty much this deck right here. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter one because yeah, I wasn't really didn't buy CDs or so, but I've been going to shows and stuff. But yeah, I just want to show you guys what I gotten so far in the, like the last month or so. You know, so yeah. Let's get started. The first one I got CD I got, and it's actually a double album, and that is the the Devin Townsend pro project with a deconstruction and Ghost. It's a two disc thing. Yeah, I love both albums. You pull it out. We have the deconstruction right here and Ghost right here. But yeah, there's nothing that yeah I just love love this man's work. I mean, this he's just amazing. Like anything he does, I mean, I don't think there's anything. Thing did can't make a bad release album or nothing. I think he's just that good. Next up, we got Destruction with Spiritual Genocide, one of the best albums in like the Teutonic thrashing in Germany with like bands like Creator, Sodom, and Tankard and stuff. Just insane. I just I swear I think the German thrashing is better than the American thrashing. I just don't know why they just do it way better. But overall, damn good album. I'm really looking forward to their new album coming soon. Next one, next one I got in is a really great, really good album. It's the, their previous album, which is the Living Infinite by Soilwork. It's a double album. Love, love the fuck, love this album. It's fucking amazing. I should think, really recommend you should check this out. I don't mean their their latest album is pretty good, but yeah, I'm trying to get looking to get more Soilwork at some point. Overall, pretty good album. Next up, we got Unwelcome by Arsis, one of my favorite albums of 2013, and this version actually comes with the Leper's Coret CP, P as sort of the bonus tracks. Tracks. I mean, I heard you can get the, just the Leper's Coret CP separately if you leave, but I don't think you can now, but overall, damn good album. I mean, Arsis is just a, a really great band. Next up, I got uh, the self-titled album from Revocation. It's this is revocation. I mean, these guys just continue to get better and better. But you know, I mean, this is their previous album, their latest album, Death was as good. I mean, they just never, they just don't have a bad album. They're just really that good. Um, next up, we got Wolves Within by After the Burial. I think that's a really good album. I love some of the songs on there. Pretty much like Andy Pattern, Neo Soul, Wolf Amongst Ravens. It's the shitty thing is when I got it, it has like a fucking crack right here. I don't know how well you could see it. But overall, it's a pretty good album. Next one, this album I actually got in the mail today. And it's their latest album, which is Epitome of Torture by Sodom. These are some good quintessential German thrash. This is just insane. I mean, I pretty much love this band. And next album, and I've put this purchase off for a long time, and I finally glide up on this, which is a... Blackwater Park by Opeth. This is actually a special edition. And this, this has like a DVD which has like a 5.0 audio mix of the album. And it's sort of like a little doc documentary which them the band talking about the black... How they made Blackwater Park. So yeah. So all I need now is like a Deliverance and a Heritage. I pretty much got every Opeth album. Today. And for me, this band, they just don't disappoint. I mean, although I didn't... Although I thought their latest album was kind of... Yeah, okay. I mean, it wasn't like bad or anything. It just felt like, yeah. But moving on, next one, and I I don't know why I finally decided to buy something from this band, but I finally got I own this, which is the Godless Endeavor by Nevermore. I just really wish this band would get back together. It's just really good album. I think it's their second to last album. Uh, yeah, these I was, they're just really good. I don't know why they called quits, but you know Jeff Loomis is just playing on this album is just amazing. So yeah. Now I got some uh, 2016 albums to show you guys. Um, first one I got in is uh, in the new album from Kill from one of my favorite metalcore bands, Killswitch Engage, entitled Incarnate. I mean, this album is just really gr great. It just proves what what Killswitch Engage does and what like are like the the founding one of the first few bands in the first wave of metalcore band that are actually good. They actually with this album they just put like continuing with like have new riffs and 
actually, and not like rehash like some riffs like so much metalcore bands do nowadays. <laughs> cough, cough, asking Alexandria. But overall, really good album. Next up, I got got For All Kings by Anthrax. Really good album. I think it's a pretty good follow up to Worship Music. I really love the packaging on this. It's like dark on here, but if you pull pull it up, you get this little reveal. I just think it's pretty clever. Overall, pretty good album. Next up is uh, I got the new After the Burial album, Dig Deep. It's a really good album. It's pretty emo pretty has a good emotional album, and especially for them dealing with their 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 guitar player Justin Lowe after he died last year. Here and they continued on, so I gotta give them props to that. I'm trying to look forward to seeing them next month when they come here with Born of Osiris. I'm trying, hopefully I'll go, be, go to that. But overall, really pretty good album. Next up is a new album from a band that I don't think anybody has ever heard of this band, but I dig these this guy's stuff. They're a metalcore band from Sweden, and that is the new Adept album with Sleepless. Sleepless, sorry. I think it's a pretty solid metalcore album. I mean... I mean, I have heard some of their stuff before. They're pretty good. I just wish they would tour the states. That would be that would be pretty good. I I dig these guys. Some of these guys' stuff. Overall, if you haven't heard of them, you should check them out. If you haven't, if you haven't got to. Yep. Next up, next one is another new album and pretty much one of my favorite albums to come out this year. And yep, I got the new Amon and Marth album, Yams Viking. This album is a really good album. I think I enjoyed this a lot more than their previous album, Deceiver of the Gods. But yeah, but then but then again, anything Amon Amarth the anything Amon Amarth has done is just good. I don't think they've never have a bad album, and they're just yeah. I'm there's and I finally got to see them live for the fir first time about a week or two ago, and they just put on a really good show. So overall, really good album could be one of my top albums of the year. But yeah, next next uh, three albums I got are all from the same band, and for the longest time I owned one of their albums. And I said in my review, I you and I got in three Soulfly albums. But if you could see, I, I if you could look closely, I got them signed by Max Cavalera. I got him. I recently got the first album, which has uh, of course has the first the first album, which has just the one album. The second CD has like some remixes and live stuff. So I got Enslaved signed. And I got the Savages signed, and I also have Primitive signed, but um, yeah. And I also got the two uh, Cavalera Conspiracies, and I got these, I got them signed by Max. So yeah, that was really good. I saw them a couple of days ago, and that was pretty good. Yep, yeah, so now I got a couple older, older albums to show you guys. First one I got in, well, I got these at a second, in, not second, uh, the CD Warehouse in, in Marietta. So, yeah, first one I got in is... Uh, the Time of Great Purification by Pathology. Just some really good slam and death metal. That's just, yeah, I I really need to get more of these guys. I just think they're just fucking kill it. Next one I got in Oli. These next three are sort of Oli but goodies. But yeah, I had to get this. Rising by Rainbow. This is just with Ronnie, the legendary Ronnie James Dio. I mean, this is pretty much their best album in my opinion. I really love the, this, this album. It's just classic what can i say next up i got uh, diver down by van halen which is this is pretty much in the era that van halen mattered because with the david lee roth stuff because yep yeah, i just like the first six albums and their latest album a different kind of truth and this is a pretty good album yep, and the last one i got in is a really good pro pro prog progressive rock metal album empire by queensrike just a really good classic album it's just pretty good. But yeah, that's my uh, little mini CD update. I, n I haven't gotten a lot more, but hopefully I'll get some more soon in, in another update, whenever that will be. I'm trying to get some more new albums. I need to get the new Aborted, which came out a couple days ago, and the new Fallujah, which comes out tomorrow. That could be some albums and some other al even more albums. Who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Keep it metal.